Ronnie Lott has been a defensive star for the San Francisco 49ers from the moment he arrived as a first round draft choice in 1981. He has intercepted more passes and returned them for more yards than anyone in 49er history. He has been selected for the Pro Bowl seven times, four times at cornerback and three at safety. He is a gifted player, but not quite gifted enough to become one of the all-time greats on talent alone. That he has become one is a tribute to his tenacity and perseverance. This is a guy who utterly refuses to lose. He does not understand the concept of giving up. He does not understand the concept of defeat. And even when we have lost games, when you go back and look at Ronnie Lott's play, he won. He was not dominated, he was not defeated, he was not fooled, he was not tricked. I think if one word really describes Ronnie Lott, it would be supreme determination. Ronnie Lott is a man of courage as well as determination. And through the exercise of both, he has made himself an example to the rest of the team. He's been one heck of a teacher, you know, aside from being one, one, one great football player. And uh, we kid him and call him the big cheese. He really walks his talk. He's one of those kind of guys. And he's a guy you want to go to war with because he's not only going to be out there right beside you, most of the time he's going to be in front of you. So uh, the cheese says it all about him. <laughs> As a defensive back, Lott lives at the frontier of instinct and reflex, where the difference between success and failure can be measured in inches and seconds. It is Lott's high level of concentration that carries him above the level of his ability. I think my greatest asset as a football player is uh, understanding the game, understanding what's happening in every situation of the game. And uh, to me, that's enabled me to be able to make plays in certain situations. The situation, Super Bowl 23, first quarter, the 49er defense is under attack. The Cincinnati running game was dominating our play at that time. And uh, Mickey Woods, each time he'd get the ball, it seems that he was getting stronger. You could, you could sense that. I was in the press box, and you could sense him taking over the ball game. If you watch all the films, prior to that game, it was one free safety that had came up and hit Icky Woods straight up. Most of the people that have got good shots on Icky were hitting him on glancing blows, not direct on, but from sides. So I knew going into this game that I had to uh, deliver a blow. You know, uh, I just wanted to come after him and make sure that he realized that it was going to be somebody there that was going to attack him. It was like, you know, Ronnie Lott to the rescue. I mean, how many times has the man done this in his career? But his hit uh, just slowed him down a little bit, slowed uh, Icky down a little bit, and it set the tempo for the rest of our defense. For 10 years, Ronnie Lott has set the tempo for San Francisco. He hit so hard and with such fury that some wide receivers cringe at the thought of running roots into his territory. Said one receiver, he hit me so hard he knocked the taste out of my mouth. He hits people so hard that, I mean, if, if somebody was to hit my son like that, I'd probably come to the game with a shotgun and shoot him. I mean, but he has no, he has no regard to his own physical well-being. He just goes out and he pretends his body is a cannonball and he just explodes into people. So he's an unbelievable person, unbelievably intense. And I think football gives him an opportunity to express that side of his personality. I think the, the hitting is very critical to my expression as a person and as a player because what it exemplifies is the fact that I'm given 110%. Some people play with heart, some people don't play with heart. And uh, I'm sure you have some consequences that go along with that, but you don't worry about that at the time. You have to find a way to, to give a little bit of yourself, whether it's giving yourself up, running into somebody that's much bigger than you, or it's you know doing something to sacrifice yourself for the team. To his teammates, Ronnie Lott is invincible. 
if not in the flesh, at least in the spirit. He is truly a unique competitor, one who looks beyond winning and losing to measure himself by only one standard. I think the way you measure it is respect. I've always said this and I've always believed in this, that when you walk off that football field, does your opponent respect you? That's the bottom line. And when you play football, the key is not actually winning. It's playing up to your standard. And that standard, it demands respect from your opponents, from your teammates. And I really believe that if you go out there and you can get some respect from your mom, your dad, your friends, the city of San Francisco, and your teammates, 10 years from now, the most important thing that you'll remember is that when you see some of these people that are in your life, they will respect you for what you did on the football field, bottom line.